Hi everyone! I am doing just, um, I'm doing a process video, but I thought I would just go ahead and show um, the finished product right now in case anybody just wants to check out um, the done deal and not go through the, you know, however long <laughs> that process video is uh, going to uh, be. But anyway, um, big shout out to Serena B for um, starting this YouTube hop and um, to Kelly Martin for including me in it and um, to all the others who are participating in this. I can't wait to see all the videos um, because I just eat this kind of stuff up. But um, anyway, this is my finished project, project uh, the summer themed project, and um, I kind of went with the whole um, underwater theme and um, this is how it turned out. I am very, very Super excited because it's it's kind of a stretch from what I normally do. It's actually a far stretch from what I normally do, um, especially working with like blues and and greens and um, so I was I was once I started working on this it just like flowed. Um, but anyway, so let me give you like a little close up here um, and just watch the process video. You will see how all of it came together if you continue watching. Um, here's like the sides and yeah, I really, really, really love the way this turned out. So if you're interested, um, in how this was put together, just keep on watching. Um, and then I'll go right into the process video. I will see you guys later. So here is my start of my summer theme project summer. Oh, I live in Sarasota, Florida, so it's like summer almost year-round. So it's probably my least liked theme of all. So I don't want to go with anything like, I guess that would be too, you know, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but uh, I decided I'm going to do like an underwater theme and um, so here I've got a bunch of stuff out. I think I'm going to use this primed wooden cradle board that I had in my stash and I've pulled out a bunch of like beachy themed things and I got this graphic off of an Etsy store for $1.75 from right here. Pixie Picks and um, I think what I'm going to do is I, I have this grunge paper out so to, and this is on uh, white cardstock I printed it too so but it's just to give it a little bit more substantiability is that a word substantiability <laughs> I don't know anyway to make it more substantial I, I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere this down and then cut around her um, because I think what I want to do on this cradle board is have like, and I'm gonna, this is a, my Haas avocados came in this netting. So I am gonna use this netting in here somehow. And I'm gonna paint over all this, of course. But I think I wanna have my um, mermaid kind of trapped in the net and do like just some kind of um, ocean themed, you know scene on this thing so and I don't know I was thinking about maybe even working on the back side of this as well um but it, I haven't made up my mind yet this is just where I'm starting so I'm going to push all this to the side and get to working with adhering this down and I'll be back I got a mess out here okay so I am going to I'm gonna I've got this netting down that I am going to try to spray paint with the Adirondack color wash in espresso and then I'm gonna go over it with uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Bayou Boogie Gold. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I have never tried to color over the top of this plastic whatever the heck this material is that you get like I said it was my Haas avocados <laughs> so it came from the grocery store so, I am just going to come in here, do both sides, it's 
because I don't know how much of this netting I'm going to use either. So, and um, I'm going to let that dry. Eh, maybe I'll just go right in. I don't, and I don't even know if this Lindy Stamp Gang is even going to show up on it. Because, I mean... You know, it's so sheer. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry on its own because it's plastic. I obviously can't use the heat gun on it. So, rut row. So I'm going to just put that off to the side for right now and come back in to my cradle board. And I guess to give this thing some texture, I'm going to my tried and true, which is tissue paper, and wadding it up. Taking it out, whoops, wadding it up some more. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take some collage podge go over this whole thing even including the sides because I don't want to forget the sides when I do this and I gotta find a brush okay so I'm gonna apply this and I really am not gonna be neat about it I don't really this cradle board, cradle board is so sturdy. I like working on this a lot better than um, canvases. I better get this on first and then go over the top of that. So I'm just gonna, you know, leave it over the edge. I want to leave a lot of that texture in. Oh, right row. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so thin I'm tearing it. Yikes. I was going to try to Shoot, I'm tearing it. That's not good. This is all I'm doing. I'm just going around the thing with my collage podge and I'm tearing a lot of it, but you know, again, this is one of those pieces where you don't really know what texture is going to show through. God dog it. My fingers are sticking to it. You don't know, um, you know, what's really going to show through texture wise anyway, because you're going to have, you know, I'm going to have a lot of stuff on this. So Not really sure. And then once this is dry, I'm just going to come in and, you know, I'll tear off this excess, even though it's partly tearing off now as it is. Come back up. Yeah, kind of just tearing some on my own right now. This is messy work. Messy work. Ah. Okay, you have to be really careful with this tissue paper, man. <laughs> I just made a mess out of that. All right, so. I'm going to clean up the back side of this once it's uh, 
you know, better dried because right now I am tearing a lot of stuff off that I don't want to tear. So I just kind of want it because it's going to be an underwater scene. I want it to be like textured, you know, like there's like waves moving underwater or, you know, whatever. So but I'm just, you know, you, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you get the air bubbles out. So that's what I'm going around right now doing is just trying to get all those air bubbles out. Make sure everything's really stuck down. So anyway, okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, there is a terrible shadow on this because I have a full size box that I'm using to spray in because I have a much bigger project to spray. So anyway, um, I have the Dilutions Ink Spray in Calypso Teal and a couple of Lindy Stamp Gang, uh, Buccaneer Bay Blue and Land Lubber Green. And <clears throat> that's going to be the base of my color for this canvas. So... I'm just going to go kind of different spots here. And then I'm going to dry in between. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, this is Land Lover Blue, I mean Buccaneer Bay Blue, so I'm going to dry this before I go in with the Landlubber Green. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use this. Uh, this is a moon shadow mist. It's going to, well, I don't know. God dog it. All right. I don't know. I got to think about this because I don't know if I want brown. The moon shadow mists have a brown tint to them. And I don't know that I want to have, um, a brown tint on my but then I started thinking about it and I'm like wait a minute yeah maybe I do so while I'm heating this I'm gonna think about that and uh, yeah I'll be back okay so I went a little wackadoo with um, some more spray colors and this is what I wound up with so you know I like how this came out so and also my netting too the net, netting came out really awesome as well so with the sprays and stuff I did go out over it with the pearl mist um, spray as well and um, just to give it a little bit more sheen but it blends in really well with that canvas so she'll look very cool all tied up in that I think that's pretty cool Anyway, on to what I'm doing now. So now I am taking, I have a couple of these charms <clears throat> right here. I got these at Michael's. It's part of, you know, just this little bead landing charm sets with sea life creatures on it. And um, what I'm doing is, let me find my tweezers. What I am doing is I am taking my Versamark pen here and let me find the right end <clears throat> I want the thick end here okay and what I'm doing is I am getting some of that embossing ink on this charm
because I don't want this to be silver. And um, the color that I'm using is like a Stampendous, um, <clears throat> what is this, like teal, it's like an aged teal embossing powder. So I am going to take a piece of paper here. And then just pour some of the powder out like th like so. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. Get this out of my way before I blow it everywhere. All right, and then I'm going to take my heat gun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat from underneath <clears throat> because I don't want to blow these crystals all over the place. So as soon as that gets hot, it'll start to melt. And then I'll show you the next step that I plan on doing with this. Put a big piece on here. Off. Once it starts to melt, then you can go on top of it. Once it starts to get all oozy melty. Sorry, I didn't realize I was off camera there. Okay, so it's all melted, and I'm just going to take, ah, oops, ow, hot, <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a dumb mistake, beginner mistake, woo, all right, I just want to get this powder put up before I make a mess everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to let that cool off for a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is come in and tear off the top, tear off, cut off the top of that bale. Um, because I don't want that um, bale top to, God, this, yeah, that needs to cool off a little bit more. I want it to look exactly like this one. I've cut the bale off so that all it is is just this little seashell. Because what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere it to my little mermaid here and clothe her a little bit so she's not so nudie nude. And um, have this be kind of like a little, you know seashell bikini top like so and uh all right i think that's no look it's melting off onto my fingers okay i think i'm gonna have to come back i think that's really gonna have to cool off for a while before i can cut that off so let me get to that next step and um i'll be back all right my glue gun is heating up and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place everything now because um, you know I've got my base done so I'm just kind of trying to figure out this part so I have this crust, crushed seashell that I got at Joanne and I am going to take my glue gun but now I've got to try to figure out where I want it and I'm going to have to work in batches because this dries so quickly that I need to work apply some of the crushed seashell, see what I get, and then continue on. So I think I'm just going to squiggly line this. Just to get some of it laid out. Lay this all on there, see what sticks. Huh. 
Ah, stuck to my hand. So I really don't know. Blue, wow. Blue boogers. Yeah, because I really don't know. I've never worked with this before, so. We shall see what we got here. Okay, so I am going to continue doing that for right now and um, come back after it's done. Okay, so I got that adhered down and then I decided to go in with some more of that eyelash yarn that I'm using in that um, netting here and, um, you know, have that kind of be in between you know these little shells down here at the bottom of my little ocean floor and then I took just um, this bag of shells that I have and uh, I'm not going with that really big one here and um, I picked them um, you know just some of the smaller shells out of the bag and you know I'm gonna kind of lay those in here somewhere like you know these kind of little shells um, but I've got a mess out here, to be honest with you. I've got a big old mess. Um, but anyway, so what I did on this um, starfish is I took Inca Gold and um, kind of went over it because it was too stark white. I didn't really want a stark white starfish on here. And I did the same thing with my little um, shell here. I just ran some Gold Rub and Buff. And I decided I'm going to put a little crown on, or a big crown, I should say, on uh, my mermaid. So I did take some of that same Inca gold, and because this was a silver, you know, crown here. And um, I put Inca gold on it just to tie it all together. So now I'm in the process of just, you know, laying all this out, trying to figure out where I'm going to put things. So right now, I do know I want to have this right there so I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I want it to kind of go off the canvas a little bit so ooh, I didn't gauge that very well okay I don't know if that's gonna stick um, you know, I want it to kind of, kind of go off the canvas a little bit. I'm just going to sit here and hold that. Wait for it to get a little dry. Pardon up. Got glue strings everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here with this little shell. I need another glue stick out. And I'm going to put that right there in that corner. <laughs> glue strings are everywhere. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Ugh. All right, I gotta get another glue stick out. Golly. Okay, glue stick. Get that ready. I don't think that's on there very well. Still feels really hot though, so. Okay, and I pulled out a, um, I fussy cut a couple of pieces out of the um, Once Upon a Time DCWV stack, and um, I am, have decided I'm gonna use this kind of at the top here. So I think I'm gonna set it 
like that. This has Skull Island on it, very cool. So I think I'm just gonna kinda have it overlap that title right there. Maybe you do something like so. So, I gotta figure out which glue I'm gonna do. And I still have to figure out also as well my netting, how I'm gonna have that on this, this cradle board here. Maybe have it go off. I think I'm probably gonna gather it like so and maybe have it come off the page a little bit as well and um, do something like that. So once I get all that figured out, I will be back after I get it adhered on. Um, I'm probably just gonna wind up using my glue gun to get this put around the back side and put down here. So anyway, I'll be back. All right, so what I've done is I have kind of just done a little pop of color with some of these. I have no idea what they're called. There's some kind of, I don't think they're seed beads because I think seed beads are smaller, but those little teeny tiny beads. And um, I just wanted like some kind of a different pop of color um, because I had so much blue and green going on in here. So. That's what I did. I kind of went around and just added like it was more like of a jewel tone, like rock or something. And I did adhere some of these um, seashells, um, whatever those are called. <laughs> these right here. Um, I did color them with the Inca Gold, um, just like I said, so everything would tie in together. And um, then I took, I'm working on right now, um, these candy gems that I got from Beverly store, the piece by piece and love her store. And, um, so now I'm just going in, I put a piece of that right here and I am going to throw another piece. I think I'm going to tuck that kind of like right underneath that. Yeah. I'm going to tuck it right underneath that um, little clamshell there. So I'm just putting a touch of the hot glue there so that it will stick when I stuff it underneath there. And then I just kind of want to spread these gems out. So I'm going to use this to use my glue gun helper to keep that tucked down so that it'll stick and I think I'm going to stop there with these um, candy gems and now I think all that's left for me to do is I am going to finish up by putting some of these other little charms um, yeah, I'm going to put some of these little charms in here, like, um, you know, like they're swimming in the ocean with the little mermaid as she's being drug up by this net. And, yeah, so, I'm pretty close to the end of this. I'll be back with a finished product. Okay, yeah, sorry, one more thing. I did decide that just to bring this um, title out some, I was going to go in, I am going to go in with some distress crackle paint and the rock hard candy just to clear um to kind of go over that title and make that pop a little bit so it's not so buried in the canvas okay i'll be back with the finished product all right this is the finished project so all i did from the last recording to this one is these little charms that i had i did take some inca gold and cover those again just to tie everything together and I did take some of the tulip beads in a bottle um, to make these little um, I don't know what you want to call these bubbles like little air bubbles I don't know if you can see those um, not air bubbles because it's underwater but you know like little bubbles in underwater so um, 
I like how that turned out. So yeah, this is the first time I've used that. So I like that. I'll have to start using that in my art journal. Um, now I've got the crackle here. That turned out really good. I like how it kind of aged it. Um, so yeah, very happy with the way this turned out. So I am going to show the completed project um, at the beginning of this video. I'm going to go back and um, that'll be the first segment and then do the process video um, if anybody's interested in seeing that or just watching just the first couple of minutes with the, you know, just seeing the, the canvas itself. So thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Thank you, Serena B., for um, putting this hop together. And thank you, Kelly Martin, for um, including me in it. And um, thanks to all my other um, YouTube people who are on here um, doing these projects as well. I can't wait to see what everybody has done and um, I'll see you guys later.